One of our local friends recommended us to take a boat to Faya dos Padres, which is apparently a little paradise, but we had already booked a car for that weekend, so we thought why not just drive there. And here we are, there is no road to get there, just a cable car. That's an interesting start, so let's see. Banana plantation. They start out for a penny. Wow. Look at that. That is cool. And they actually really grow in like a bunch. So we just came down from the cable car, cable car uh -huh. to this beautiful um, spot. You have to pay though 10 euros per person to come down and hopefully go up as well. <laughs> and uh, it's a beautiful garden, obviously. People grow all sorts of vegetables here. And um, it is, um, it feels kind of private place, isn't it? Yeah. But you can come here with your boat if you have one. Yeah, you can come <laughs> with your boat or cable car. Yeah, wondering how they came down here without people car. It's a nice uh, feeling homey here, isn't it? I feel like. Yes, yeah, like a private garden. A private garden. Guys fishing on this uh, little rock. This is this famous bread from the island, which uh, I just don't know the name right now. We're trying this in different places. That looks really juicy. So it's a uh, toasted bread with garlic uh, butter, I guess. So it's a local speciality. Probably not gluten free and no sourdough. But we love it anyway. Right? Okay, it's my turn now. Compared to other ones, this is kind of more doughy, soft. It's like you can feel the it's a little bit more soaked with oil and garlic. So since we're here on the island, Lauza was dreaming of this uh, dish which is a fish with a banana and today she got one so it's here yeah. banana tastes like banana <laughs> banana tastes like banana okay that kind of makes sense is it fried um, I, I, uh, yes uh, it comes okay so um, let's find out if it's fried are you starting with the fish? The fish or the banana? Like I guess how you eat it. Ah, okay. 
Ja. Okay. Is dat fit? Ja. Yeah. En de banana. banana. Is de banana fit to the fish? Ik weet niet. Ja, dat Oké, okay, just a banana. It is delicious though. This is like Michael Michael would cook, right? It's like a piece of meat, uh, fried eggs, cheese and milk, which is kind of looks very random. Uh, the French fries look nice. So, but apparently it's some speciality. I have no idea. It looks like a breakfast, lunch and dinner in one. But uh, it's kind of like things that fit together, right? For you. <laughs> There's the only, only meat dish besides they have the, of, uh, chicken breast. Mm -hmm. It's juicy. What's juicy meat? The meat. Nice, like it. So this is potato, banana and vegetables, apparently vegetables from this garden where we just the one we sow. They grow these vegetables here. The big pumpkin we sow. I think it's a kind of butternut squash or pumpkin with uh, carrots. Like very nice, delicious actually vegetables. Banana is unusual for me to, to have it here, so it's, um, it's delicious. Michael tried my banana. I'm not sure why they come in a combination. They're delicious oh. on its own. Basis. Yeah, it's a nice banana. Oh, very, uh, good fish. very good fish. Um, I mean, I would probably not put them together on one place, but... Oh, can you smell the passion fruit? Mm. Oh my goodness. Can you smell the passion fruit? This I dessert, also have one. Dessert called... Huh? Surprise dessert? Yes. It's called surprise dessert. It's a banana cake. This is banana cake with... Seasonal fruits <laughs> from the garden. My goodness, I can't believe I'm in, in a season of uh, in the middle of season of passion fruits. <laughs> oh, um, mango, I think. I think it's papaya, and the ice cream is also homemade here, right? Yes. Self-made. Oh, and the smell. If I could just give you the smell of this passion fruit. Mm. Passion fruit pudding. The aroma of passion fruit. It's like real passion fruit <laughs> from the garden, just behind us. Here we go. Yeah, you want to try? Yes. How's that? Mm, very passiony. Very passionate. Yeah. Full of passion. Passion food. If you want something refreshing. Yeah. It is very refreshing, definitely. Mm. We can actually like scoop it out of the. Scoop it, yeah. I would like to see you eating passion food because you haven't. I. Hmm? I have not seen you eating passion food. You have not seen me. Like a real passion food. The actual food. It's less sweet than. Than all desserts. <laughs> The mango ice cream. I tried it. It's, it's like you making puree out of mangoes, and um, and it's not too overwhelmingly sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
It was amazing to see all the variety of fruits and vegetables growing here, and it was very special for me to eat what they locally grow just next to the restaurant. It's a beautiful spot to enjoy the sea combined with a walk through the organic farm surrounded by massive caves. We are very happy that we got down to that beautiful green island within the island. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week.